Roger TV, the voice of college football, breaking down the Gators. Florida uh, eyeing a shot in the Orange Bowl against a 13-point underdog in Virginia. More importantly, is National Signing Day just a few days away as we look at December 18th. Florida with a nice class again under Dan Mullen. We got uh, David Waters from Gators Breakdown to help us take a look. So can you size up the class, some of the stars, uh, but more so some of those guys on the fence that are leaning one way or the other that you would really like to see come into the fold. Uh, yeah, we'll start with just a couple of the, a few of the top players, Mark Gervin Dexter, uh, there will I, I go by the 24 seven sports composite right now, just for the sake of it. He's a number 30 rank 31st ranked player, uh, in the country right now, right on the verge of getting his fifth star here, uh, defensive lineman, defensive tackle for the Gators right now, six, six and a half, two eighty six. He's a monster, uh, out there, you know, Florida's jewel of the cat class right now, uh, compared, you know, according to the 24 seven sports composite, the other jewel of the class. Derek Wingo, outside linebacker uh, there from St. Thomas Aquinas, 6'2", 210. He is a five-star on rivals. Uh, he's a number 81st ranked player overall in the 24-7 sports composite. So those are the two big gets for Florida there on the defensive side of the ball too. So um, you know, Florida's in their two in their two biggest games this year against LSU and, and, and Georgia. They could have used players like Kervin Dexter and Derek Wingo. So uh, you know, credit to, uh, you know, Todd Grantham uh, and and, and uh, uh, um, uh, Chris uh, Robinson, the linebackers coach, to go out there uh, and uh, go out there uh, and get those guys. They're big, they were big in, in recruiting those guys, and uh, also a position of need. Isaiah Walker, offensive lineman, offensive tackle, for, also from South Florida, down there uh, in Miami, six four three zero nine. Uh, 140th overall uh, player in, in the country. So those are the top three guys, I think, partly because of just how good they are overall and uh, positions of need uh, there for the Gators. And coming up, Mark, you talk about some guys on the fence there. Uh, Timothy Smith, he's a currently uh, def defensive tackle, currently committed to Alabama uh, there. Florida feels pretty good about uh, flipping him. He'll visit uh, Florida this weekend. They'll make their final pitch to see if they can uh, get the switch there uh, from Alabama to, to Florida. And then, um, <coughs> excuse me, Mark, then Avante Williams, the um, uh, safety commit uh, was an Oregon commit decommitted on today's Thursday, decommitted on Wednesday from Oregon. He will not sign, will not make a decision until February. So Florida has uh, the work cut out him, but they do feel pretty good about uh, bringing him uh, into the fold as well. And yeah, that's uh, a, yeah. That's one that's kind of been on the verge uh, lately. He is a Florida kid. A lot of people did not see him making the trip all the way from Florida to Oregon. They didn't really necessarily see that uh, commitment holding up. So Florida seems to think they're in, you know, in pretty good shape here, uh, there. And also, uh, you know, Mordecai McDaniel, Tennessee commit right now. It's probably one to look out for. That's going to happen soon. Uh, another flip uh, there. Florida's going for a couple flips here, uh, Mark. So when and in the SEC as well. This one's from Mordecai McDaniel, uh, defensive back, commit, currently committed to Tennessee. So that's another one I think uh, we could look out for. Uh, and one more, Joshua Braun, just decommitted from Georgia. Sam Pittman left Georgia. The, their offensive line coach to take the head coaching position at Arkansas. Uh, and Joshua Braun had a really good connection with him, but also a really good connection with the Florida staff. It was a hard decision when he made a decision to commit to Georgia earlier this year. But with Sam Pittman leaving, it leaves the door open for him to to you know change his mind. He decommitted from Georgia. And I would say, Mark, about – 90% confidence there that he's going to now uh, uh, flip his commitment uh, to, to Florida there. So that's, you know, some guys to, to look out for this week, uh, but also heading into early signing day next week. If you're a Florida football fan, you go to Gators Breakdown. That's all there is to it. It's a no brainer. You're probably already locked in, but if you're not, you get right over there right now on YouTube or your favorite audio platform. Join uh, David and the rest of the crew. If you love the SEC, you love college football just in general and want to keep up with the top programs, you lock it into Gators Breakdown as well. Dave, we appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully we can uh, get a recap on National Signing Day. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be busy that day. I'll have my show, but yeah, we'll uh, try and get in there and it's going to kill me if I don't correct it. Christian Robinson is the outside linebacker's name for Florida. So I, I had to correct that because it, uh, it would have got, got on my nerves if I didn't get it right. So yeah, Mark, thank you much. Uh, yeah, early signing day. Uh, we'll have it all wrapped up there on Gators Breakdown.